Okay. Okay, we'll do it for Ireland. Oh, fuck. Do it for Ireland. I want to get away from the pavements, away from the cavemen I want to take you back to the stone age I want to go to the places with fairies and shaman I want to take you back to the stone age In Ireland's ancient east My balls are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy And I'm standing next to a, a giant stone vagina at the top of a mountain in Ireland's ancient east and we're going to find out why this is shite guides the world's shittest travel show the hole you're gazing into is the very same hole our stone age ancestors would climb through to enter the other world in an ancient ritual to secure a bountiful harvest by mimicking the life-giving embrace of copulation so basically, if you enter this hole, you're fucking the mountain. So after the sweaty, after the sweatiest climb I've had in a long time, we're here at Shi Fin or Si Fin, Shi Fin. Either way, it's the seat of Fion. Fion, Fion, he's a son of a gun. He'll never succumb, and he's tons of fun. Fion, Fion, he's the chosen one. To the beat of the drum, put the scum on the run. Essentially, what we're looking at, it's not just a pile of stones. Although, I mean, technically, it is a, it is a pile of stones, but it's an organized pile of stones. So this is a, a passage tomb from five and a half thousand years ago. Three and a half thousand years BC before Jesus was invented. But uh, we got lost before we got up here. Some fucking Egypt sent us to the wrong mountain. Oh, it's time to rewind to tell you all about the other mountain we climbed. And if you find that you're wondering what's next, remember it's all about building the context. If you're coming up here, there's absolutely no signs uh, to let you know that there's a giant Neolithic relic at the top of this hill. When you're on the road, it just looks like a, a nipple on a firm titty. So it's a, a dirty stroll I did. I'd say before you come up, give up, give up smoking fags about a week before you come up and you'll be grand. Yeah, bye. Oh yeah, and the flies are eating us alive. At the top of mountains, there are these things called cairns, essentially like piles of stones. They're like Neolithic mad bastards would, uh, would do. But this is an actual passage tomb. So on the other hill over there is uh, she fingin or she finging. And then over there, there's something she finninging. I don't, I don't know. I love, I love the answers in the link below. So uh, that's why we got sent the wrong way. All these things sound the same. Three hills, one called she fin, one called she hen, one called she finning. We were, the fucking flies are eating me alive. Jesus fucking Christ. So we were at the right spot. And then some good Samaritan on the street came to save the day and sent us up the wrong fucking mountain miles out of the way. See, so yeah, you ever want proof this is the world's shittest travel show? This is it. The world's shittest travel show. It's all downhill from here. Without a single sign to guide the way Keep the faith and release your mind And you will finally find the hidden wonders of a forgotten realm From the deepest depths of history Got the entrance here And uh, in 1931 some boys came to excavate it So before they got here it would have just looked like this a Load of stones We'll have a peep up top here. So it said there's two entrances. I haven't had a fully look around it yet. So this is entrance number one, uh, which looks uh, way too skinny. But there's a second entrance. <laughs> I 
and it's uh it's down in up oh, i need to stop looking into the camera and looking at where i'm going because i do not want to die and be entombed in a pre-made tomb so we got another entrance going down there oh it's spicy out so to get like again even though this is my new camera that i bought with the donations even sticking on coffee so nice one um even with the 4k camera you absolutely cannot appreciate the incredible breathtaking spicy vista that is to be beholded up here if you ever go for a drive you can climb up a mountain and travel back in time and when you get there you'll get the feeling everything's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine so when it was excavated uh, in 1931 they they didn't know what they were going to find but they made a shocking discovery they found absolutely sweet fuck all no bodies no bones no treasure so they're not 100 percent sure what the crack was plenty of time for some some rapscallions from the surrounding areas to come and raid and take whatever was here it's pretty unbelievable man myself and d beats there we nearly died coming up here we nearly died of western exhaustion this is the fucking opposite of chill mountain so we died bringing up a bottle or two and a gopro and you had neolithic man from all the surrounding areas carrying these stones up really puts into perspective what kind of pussies we are in the 21st century there she is fuck I've never been so happy to see a big dopey pile of stones in my life we weren't ready for the mountain climbing Oh, but thank God. Look at this. What fucking bollocks was up here in ancient times? Littering. Someone came up here in the fucking 70s and littered. I'm aware that we shouldn't judge people from the past on the social mores and morals of the present But I think if you go to a stone age site and leave your shite, you're a dirty fucking peasant Of course the original reason for all this has been lost to time Like the lads weren't exactly writing books about what they were up to three and a half thousand years BC but what the speculation is, is that this doorway uh, represents a vagina or a vulva. A vulva, and I don't know, the, uh, the clitoris is, is, is well, well hidden, even back then. So we'll have a... This is like, this is really skinny, man. I can't, uh, it's, it's hard to... Like, that's how skinny it is, like... So every single website says not to go into it because you'll get stuck. We don't want to be calling the boys in helicopters up here. Plus, I just got some new shoes from Primetime in Cork City. They were a great deal, 40 quid. So I don't think there's there's really any way uh, I'm going to be able to, able to get in. But like, I don't know what was going on, man. What were the lads up to? like it's a vagina it's it's a it's a vulva like this is the 21st century i don't know should i be going in without consent you know a little bit of foreplay oh your stones how are you getting on i don't know i think i don't know it's it's a little fatter at the bottom i really don't know now that's jesus christ I 
A chief in the wispy mist of legend coalesces in the cold hard stone of reality as history and mythology intertwine in a sticky, sweaty embrace. Why is it called Shi Fin? The seat of Fion. Shi Fin, or the resting place of Fion. Who the fuck was Fion? I'll tell you who Fion was. Fionn McCool Fionn motherfucking McCool is in the building The leader of the guild getting twisted with his kindred He's at the shindig sipping whiskey and tickling pilgrims While high kings are getting the drinks in Out for revenge and born a bastard Every weapon he was swore to master Cruising round with his hound by his side Better choose your words or you're bound to die Cause he's a loose cannon been known to hunt salmon He bury every enemy from Kerry to Dungannon Tell your crew that there's doom has proof that he's way fucking cooler than you He's Fionn McCool, Fionn McCool I seen him cruising to school on a mule The toughest lad on the block, he's unstoppable Rocking the knowledge he can't get fooled He's Fionn McCool, Fionn McCool He was out on the piss playing pool Had a barrel of pints and he started a fight He beat a bouncer to death with a stool Cool The baddest, maddest boy in all of Irish history, or one of them anyway, there was a lot of a lot of lunatics back in the day, much like today. So we're not a hundred percent sure who is who was buried in here. Like it's all pretty much been lost to time. I really don't know. I kind of want I want to go inside. Uh, I don't think I can, to be honest. But we'll. Oh jeez, I'm a, oh, fuck, I'm already getting claustrophobic. I'm wearing shorts, like, look at my fucking, my new shoes. I'm just gonna fucking do it. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Oh, shit. I don't even know, can you see me? This could be the worst video ever. Ugh. Ugh. Doing it for Ireland. Okay. Okay, we'll do it for Ireland. Oh fuck. Do it for Ireland. Let's get mega lifting. Okay. Uh. Oh, I think we made it. I think we're fucking in. Oh. Shit, boy. <laughs> we're fucking in. We did it. <laughs> yes, boy. <sighs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yes, man. Oh. wasn't as bad as, uh, as they made it out to be. We could have come down this way, but should be no crack. Have you ever felt like that when you went through a crack and you just made love to a mountain? Stone Age and chill. Get your rocks off at the top of the hill. So this is it, man. The resting place of Fionn. This is where Fionn would come to chill out. Or to, or to just be... To just be dead. Obviously there was a lot more going on here back in the day. Back in the old school days. Of the Neolithic and actually yeah also I should say some sources say Megalithic as well. So no one really knows. But whoa. But yeah boy. These are big fucking rocks man. People carried these rocks. Because we checked all around the gaff. These huge huge rocks they are nowhere near the summit whatsoever I mean look at the size of these rocks like what's going on with this stone but yeah man unbelievable five and a half thousand years old and yet the world's shittest travel show kept the faith 
So yeah, ah fuck lads, like the fucking litter, Jesus Christ, like, are you fucking joking me? Are you actually fucking joking me, like? Some fucking sack of shit came up here on the 8th of January with his Tom and Jerry flavoured biscuits and he left it in Fionn McCool's gaff so that's two bits of ancient rubbish we've got out of here fucking dirt bags yeah man Fionn McCool you feeling cool? not as cool as Fionn McCool Fionn McCool, Fionn McCool real cool dude Fionn McCool and the next uh, <laughs> the next situation is how to get out of here all right. Fucking shoes wrecked. Oh! And then to be greeted like a freshly born baby. The most beautiful views in Ireland. She Finn, the resting place of Fionn. Fionn McCool. Cool dude. So, what are, we, what are you waiting for? Get up here, bring some rubbish with you. Thanks very much to the great Mazzy K. You and Mark Max sent a couple oh. pennies my way. And Adam G, you're an absolute G. I know I've said it before, but now I mean it even more. Thomas R, if I'm going to war, you get a call. Michael A, stand tall, cause you're all on the ball. Jack S, you did it again. You're on the roll of honor with Christopher M. James S, Monamu, oh my bell. I'll see you in heaven with Simon O L. Oh my god, we made it down. Sweaty, sticky situation. But if you ever want to come up here, and you don't want to waste two or three hours of your life, it looks like that. Follow the fence up to the top of the hill. And for God's sake, lads, don't be littering on Neolithic tombs. Catch you next time. Good luck.